The Type O55 destroyers are the largest surface combatant currently being built in the world. Through China classifies these ships as destroyers, the United States classify these ships like cruisers. They have a length of 180 meters, a beam of 20 meters and a draft of 6.6 .6 meters for full load displacement of about 1300 feet. In comparison, the US Navy's Ticandroga class cruiser and the flight 3 Arleigh Brook class destroyer displays 9,800 tons. According to the Global Times, China Type 055 destroyers are more powerful than the US Navy's Arleigh Brook class ships. Parallels are drawn between China's 055 and the American Triconderoga because their capabilities and their size. Upgraded radar systems are used in the conjunction with the Universal Vertical Launch System or VLS which may carry a variety of warheads including missiles for air defense, anti-submarines and anti-surface warfare. The VLS of the Type 055 contains fewer cells than the Triconderoga class. The Type 055 has nearly 112 VLS in comparison of Triconderoga's 122. The weapon loadout, on the other hand, is vastly different since it must tailored to the needs of the users. The Chinese ship is equipped with the HQ-9 long-range surface-to-air missiles as well as the HQ-16 medium-range SAM and possibly a quad-packed DK-10AS. The DK-10 is uh, modeled on the PL-12 air-to-air missile and would serve as an intermediate-range air defense missile comparable to the RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missile used by the United States Navy. Likewise, the Chinese YU-8 anti-submarine missile is comparable to the VLASROC used by the US Navy. Type 055 is equipped with a formidable 11-barreled 30mm close-in weapon system that boasts a high success rate. A massive 130mm naval cannon is installed on the Chinese ship. Regardless of the Type 055's multi-mission capabilities, these ships are being developed to serve as the primary escort of the Chinese carrier battle group. They could serve as the Battle Group's Anti-Warfare Command Control Center. The Ticonderoga class cruiser also performs a similar role. But both ships have a certain distinct feature. Anti-surface warfare is a top priority for Chinese ships and they employ the YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship missiles. These massive sophisticated missiles stand in the stark contrast to the Triconderoga class's harpoons. The harpoons can only be carried in groups of eight, whereas the Chinese ships can reportedly carry a large number of YJ-18s. The Triconderoga class is equipped with the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile, which has proven to be quite effective. It's unclear if the Type 055 has a similar LACM, although the YJ-18 could perform this role as well. In the anti-ballistic missile domain, there is an even greater disparity in the armaments. The RIM-161 SM-3 missiles, which can intercept medium-range ballistic missiles, can be displayed on the US AEGIS ships. China is said to be lacking in such a system. But many Ticonderoga class ships will be decommissioned in the coming years as they have been in the service for more than 30 years. Nevertheless, China's Type 055 destroyers may be seen in a strong rival to American warships in the same class, something the Asian giant would like to use to project its naval powers in the Indo-Pacific regions. Dear viewers, on your angle, which one is the more powerful and why? Comment down below and 
And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family members. Thank you so much for watching.